Welcome to American Dream TV Selling Sacramento, a real show, a show about real estate, lifestyle, culture, and everything that makes Sacramento great. I'm your host, Tanya Curry. Today, we are at a place that makes Sacramento a great place to play, Fairytale Town. Located in the heart of Land Park, across from William Land Golf Park, Thunderland, and the Zoo. Fairytale Town has been in existence since 1959, and it's continuing to grow and expand for many future generations to come. As a board member for nine years and a chair for the Fund Development Committee, I'm super excited to be here. Fairytale Town holds a very special place in the heart of our community and my heart as well. Because after all, play is for everyone. So come on in and watch your head as you duck underneath the Humpty Bridge for a very special tour and to meet the director of Fairytale Town. Come on, let's go. So today we're here at Fairytale Town and this is Kevin Smith Bagan, the director for Fairytale Town. Hey Kevin, hey, thanks for having you. us. Welcome. Today. Thank you. I'm so excited to share Fairy Tale yes. Town with you. It's a beautiful sunny yes, day. It is. And uh, should we go for a little stroll? Yeah, you know, Kevin, I know that Fairy Tale Town is a great place for birthday parties and to have fun, but you know, tell us, tell us what it's all about. Yes, right here by the iconic front gate of Fairy Tale Town is the castle, King Arthur's Castle, since 1959, when Fairy Tale Town opened, has mm -hmm. been the, the go-to place in Sacramento for kids' birthday parties. Okay. And in fact, in 2022, almost 500 kids had their birthday 500? parties at Fairy Tale Town. 500? Yes. It's a tradition. Wow. Yes, it's unbelievable. Um, people are surprised sometimes, I think, to find out that our beautiful little park gets a quarter of a million visitors in a typical year, kids and their families, mm -hmm. and that's, that's because kids love Fairy Tale Town. Yes. at Fairytale Town get to slide the slides, they get to run around. There are more than two dozen play sets to climb upon, so they're clambering and they're running around. Um, they're exploring. It's a three and a half acre park that is safe and secure where kids can be free and through unstructured play, they're growing, right? They're learning about themselves, they're testing their limits. It's joy, that's what it is. And kids love animals and we have a good collection of barnyard animals. As an early learning tool, kids get to come up close with uh, the animals and just have fun. I mean, Fairytale Town is fun for kids. Yes, yes. And as a nonprofit, um, Kevin, how could others within the community help with Fairytale Town? Well, it is a nonprofit, and we do rely on, you know, community fundraising so individual donors corporate sponsors we have all these great events that are looking for sponsors mm -hmm. where you know you get the halo effect of having your corporate name connected to such a beloved place what kind of events Town. do you have that uh, others could corporate sponsor right so it could be our spring extravaganza mm -hmm. celebration where we've got hordes of kids coming in during easter season we have these huge blowouts at Halloween, safe and super Halloween, where we have mm -hmm. two weekends that draw thousands of kids and their families in costumes. Amazingly fun. Oh, nice. We've got Winter Wonderland during holiday time. And so these are possible because corporate sponsors make them possible by uh, aligning themselves. And as I mentioned, there's a real a great benefit to having your corporate brand connected to such a beloved place as Fairy Tale. Right. Town. Don't forget my favorite though. Tales and Ales. Tales and Ales. That's for the adults Oops. and the kids alike. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, Kevin, thank you so much you for showing for us around, giving us the tour, and telling us a little bit more about Fairy Tale Town. Mm -hmm. 